Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the No Machine Remote Control Software. Alright, so this is free to use if you want to use it on your local area network. You can use it over the internet. They do have a service, uh, but that's going to cost you money. But you can do a seven day trial if you want to check it out. Or you could use the free version and then set up, you know, some type of VPN connection or something on your router to let the appropriate traffic through. So that's one way to get around paying for it. All right, so if we go to their website here, uh, once you make an account, which you don't have to do unless you're going to use uh, one of the other plans. So I have an account here for the free seven day trial of the No Machine Network. And so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on here with your subscriptions. Uh, view your machines, your purchases, your support, your account information. And then here is the pricing. So if you want to do it over the internet, uh, on the network here, you can have a personal subscription for this price here, standard and up the line like so. All right, so like I said, this one here is connected to their network, the No Machine Network. So I have a machine ID and access ID. So right now it's set to everybody to be able to access it. But you can lock it down if you want only certain users. Then you could have a start at startup. You could use two-factor authentication. Remove it from the network and so on. And you have your account information, uh, any users you want to add, and machines that you could add. All right, so that's the gist of the pay for plan, but we're going to be focusing on the free version just going over the network. So this will come in handy if you want to connect to maybe Linux machines or, you know, use it on Windows 11 Home, which is not supported by remote desktop and that type of thing. All right, so one good thing about this is once you have it running on other computers on your network, it'll actually go out and find them so you don't have to go searching for them or typing in usernames or IP addresses. Unless, of course, they don't show up, then you could do a search up here and then connect to them. Okay, so like I said, this is running Windows 11 Home right here. And then I already found my other computer, Windows 11 Pro. So let's go over to that one real quick just so you can see how that's configured. All right, so this one just has the free software. It's not connected to the network. You can see here you could log in right there if you wanted to log into the No Machine Network. But like I said, you don't need to do so for basic remote desktop over the network. And you can see here it found this one as well. And then if you right click it, you can start the connection, edit it, go to the server admin if you have one of the pay for plans, view the connection info, edit this one as well. It even finds the IP address automatically for you. You can set up different types of configuration. Right now we're using password configuration for Windows passwords. And then we have some information about the computer. And here you could change your views if you want, uh, sort them, and go to the settings. So if you want to start the server, the No Machine server, uh, then you could do that. So that way the computer will not be accessible. You could check out any port information security information. It's a lot of things you can configure here. If you want to connect to any shared uh, devices, disks, printers, that type of thing. And we have various performance settings here. And if you want to get some updates, you could do that as well. All right, so now let's go back over to the other computer and then we'll connect into this one. Okay, so we're on Win 11 Home, and here's our Win 11 Pro computer that was found automatically. So like I said, you didn't have to go search for it or add it. It just found it because it's on the same network. All right, so I'm going to double-click it here. All right, so you could log in with a Windows user account here. I'll actually do it with a Microsoft account. So you just need the email address if you're doing a Microsoft account. and then your Microsoft account password. And like I said, if you're using a local account, you just use the local username and that password. Then you could have it save the password if you want as well. And then request access as a guest for desktop sharing. Let's click on OK here. So then it kind of gives you this kind of help box here when you first log in. You could have it not show you if you don't want to go through the options here. So like it says, you can see the menu at the edge of the window or do control alt zero and change the settings using the icons below. And we have some various options here. 
Then you can mute the audio if you don't want to forward it to the computer. Scaling options, display resolution. All right, so now we're on the other computer here. Let's just make this full screen. So now we can actually use the computer like we were on it. And you can see here we have this little page turn here. And if you click on that, you could get some of the settings here. Connect to disk, connect to printer, connect to USB device. And you can import it, give it a name here, make it private or public. So what I've noticed in the past is this either hangs or takes a long time to connect. So let's let that spin for a minute. Let's go over these options real quick. Uh, viewport mode. Let's just shrink it back down here. Scale the window, resize remote display, full screen, iconize, and display settings. So I'm going to bump this up to get a little better quality out of it. So I'm recording at a low resolution, so that's why the resolution's way down here. And we have some advanced display settings here. And then you have your printer options here. Connect to USB device. Connect a new port if you want. And smart card readers. All right, we saw some of the display settings here before. Audio settings. Mic in. You want to enable a microphone if you have one. Recording options. And then connection options. All right, so that is your basic overview for the free version uh, when you connect over the network. So if you were to do the professional version or the you know pay for version, uh, you would have a lot more options, and then things of course get a little bit more complicated. I just wanted to demonstrate that it was something you could use for free to make remote connections on your local area network. And like I said, especially comes in handy if you're using Windows 11 Home and you can't use remote desktop, then you could use this instead. And I also like how it auto-populates the computers that it finds that happen to be running no machine on the same network. And of course, you could you know disconnect it or stop the service if you don't want your computer to be found. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download no machine, and then you can see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.